We all know that last video I built the Minecraft Japanese temple. But in this video we're going to be building something a little bit different because someone commented on my video to build the Colosseum. Now this is going to be the biggest challenge yet because I've never built anything like the Colosseum before other than a couple castles. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So first I started off by making a massive plateau of sand and then hand by hand or block by block I started making and forming the sand around the edges so that, that way it would look more like a natural sheet of sand other than just a blob of sand chilling in the middle of a plains biome. This took actually a decent amount of time, but do you know what doesn't take a decent amount of time? Subscribing, which is something you guys should definitely do if you guys enjoy seeing building videos, because I upload every Saturday, and it'll definitely be a really fun experience for you guys to be able to watch some building videos. Plus, you might even learn something. Who knows? But anyways, right after building the giant sand plateau, I started working on some detailing on the outer edges by building polka dots of sand because just to make it look like a actual sand biome. Because come on, what sand biome really just drops off into a plain of grass? All right, we are back and um, Sai's actually here right now. Sai, say hello. Hello. Sai, why'd you make me do this again? Uh, because you said you'll uh, do whatever uh, someone comment. Good point. But yeah, as for now, I think this actually looks pretty decent, so I need to build a one-up raised area near the center of this, like, plateau or something, and then we can start building the Colosseum. So let's get right into it. Alright, so my replay mod kind of glitched out, so, um, you never saw any of this happen. And, um, I hate to break it to you, but I'm not sorry. Okay? It, it was just a really boring clip of me to- Whoa, I am lagging so much. But pretty much, I built this for the outline of the Colosseum, and as you can see in the top left, it is highlighted right there, the first ring and the second ring, just like how the green is the second ring right there, and the blue is the first ring. But yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the building. And building I did, but oh my gosh, this is the slowest building I ever did because I was so focused on being so precise that it was just so insanely boring to sit through and watch that I am not going to bore you for another 30 seconds. I'm just going to tell you straight up that I only did about half the circle because I had no idea how to come out this Colosseum because I had never built a Colosseum before. So by the next clip, I did a lot more. I actually grinded all day today just building this Colosseum, but we'll get into that later. So initially, I just built this a small ring around this blue area of the highlighting, which is the inside of the Colosseum, which I don't know why I did first, but I did anyways. So, deal with it. You know, I'm realizing how long this is going to take now that I'm looking at this because I haven't even probably reached 10% of the um, Colosseum's finished product. Okay, there we go. Whoa, I can make myself disappear. How is that happen? <laughs> Anyways, what I was trying to say is that this is going to be the top height of the Colosseum, and so... Because this is going at an angle, I can't use any world edit for this, which means this is going to take an extraordinarily long time for me to finish. So I'll be back when this is done. Alright, I finished the first or second layer of walls technically, um, but this is the first wall I made. But there we go, we have the first outer layer wall, and now we have to work on this inner layer wall, which is going to go up to about here probably, so that, that way there's the area where people can outlook. And there's also going to be steps going up from about here all the way up to the third floor. Anyways guys, let's get right back to building. Building was not horribly difficult because first all I had to do was place pillars, then build the arc because the Colosseums were filled with giant arches for some reason. Cool, I will admit, they are definitely really cool, but, you know, it's just pretty simple to build. Not in real life, I'm not saying in real life, it's difficult. It's it's really difficult in real life, I can assure you that. I've never personally done it, but it probably is really difficult. And then I built the back wall, which was again really easy because all I had to do was just command in some sandstone walls. And then I did it again on third layer. I was about to say second layer, but I didn't. I caught myself. But again, like I said, I did this again on the third layer, which was pretty simple. But it was also extremely time consuming because I spent my entire afternoon and morning on this. The things I do for YouTube. And obviously I do a lot of things for YouTube because next up I started working on the floor, 
which did not take me a horribly long time, but it was really annoying. And so, I mean, again, it didn't take me a horribly long time, so I did finish it pretty quickly because of my commands that I have. Thank you, World Edit, for existing, because without World Edit, this would have taken me an entire lifetime. But then I started going down because I needed to build the second floor, which didn't take a whole lot of time again, but it felt like eons because of how long I had been working throughout the morning and the evening. So, cut me some slack, okay? Building for hours is definitely detrimental to your mental health. I'm kidding, it's not. It's just annoying. Anyways, I pretty much did the same thing from the second floor down to the bottom floor where the um, gladiators would be fighting, but I did something a little bit different because I did want to add a little bit of texture, so I kind of made it in three different distinct steps. Alright guys, I am back and I have finished the outside of the Colosseum as well as kind of the inside, and oh my goodness, this took me so long to make. But I definitely encourage you guys to go build something in your own Minecraft worlds because instead of just watching me do it, I'd recommend to do it yourself. It is kind of fun and is definitely rewarding after you are done. But as tradition kind of settles it, I am going to be building the interior of this alone and without video recording, and then I'll come back and do a tour. So let the tours begin. All right, so starting off the tours, we have the grand steps, which go up to the first story or the second story. It's really the second story, but I'm gonna call it the first story of the Colosseum, which pretty much you can look down into the center pit where the gladiators would be fighting if there were really gladiators here. And then because I am in creative mode, I'm just gonna jump down here. But then there is the second layer or the second story where you can actually view the pit better. So I don't know why people would view it from up there. I guess it's more like rich feeling, I guess. You could feel more like an authority. But you know, in reality, these are actually the better seats in the house because you can view the fight closer. You can hear the fighting and the sound effects of the swords clashing and stuff, which would be pretty cool And if people didn't die in these pits in real life. Oh, oh, what the heck is happening? But on the more, um, I, I don't know what I was going to say there. I don't know where I was going with that. But inside of this room, we have bats, of course, because bats were everywhere, very unhygienic. That was definitely intentional and weren't just spawning because they were spawning. Um, but we have armor stands inside of the barracks room for good reason. I can't even see my face in this, bro. I don't think you guys can see anything, but that's fine. Okay, these are just like armory rooms and then you can go out this way or in the other way and it's pretty much exactly the same as to where it comes out into the center of the arena where you'd end up fighting someone and i'm not going to do a demonstration of fighting someone because this isn't a server yay no i'm kidding i really wish it was a server because then i'd be fighting Sai, and it would be like a best out of three and it'd be really cool for you guys to watch because fighting in a gladiator pit is very fun very, very fun. But anyways, guys, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. These take a lot of time to make, and even though it only seems like seven or eight minutes of videos, these take me like at least six or seven hours to make each. And considering my busy schedule from school and stuff, it does take a lot of time. And plus, these would be very beneficial for you guys to watch because if you guys are also aspiring builders in Minecraft, you will be able to see these masterful pieces of art and be able to build them for yourself in your own Minecraft world. But again, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.